What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Oi. Welcome back to. Oh, God. Forget my own depth. I said my name wrong. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Ari. Welcome back to AM Island Vibes. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing all right. Today, we're back with another reaction video. Today, we're going to be reacting to 15 most dangerous animals that kept as pets. I have a feeling already, some dummy could try to be friends with a tiger or a lion or a cheetah. Don't ask me why. I realize like everybody will be damn friends with wild animals, you know? But they 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 can see when that damn fucking lion cut up this scunt, they gonna know them doing shit. But if you guys know the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below if you guys wanna see more reaction videos from me, alright? With that being said, let's get into the video. Forget cats and dogs, these extraordinary pets. That's a big ass dog. Look at them. Sitting up at the table with a damn deal. Unorthodox donors proving they watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Why tell you? When it comes to a watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. If you thought Why tell you dog had a mean bark, wait until you see these petrifying pets. These are the 15 most freaking dangerous animals kept as pets. We're doing shit. Python. Oh shit! Friend, a puppy or a kitten, but this kid is one of a kind. Sandbath found himself with a yo yo. Sepo Village, Cambodia. She kept the small serpent after dreaming about a great snake that protected her family. But little did she know that the python would grow up to have such oh an unusual bond. Three-month-old Sandbath loved his new friend so much that they would hug, cuddle, and even sleep together in his crib. They named the python Cam Rowan. No boy. To progress in English, and the little boy even learned to crawl alongside the baby snake who was just starting to slither. Before they knew it, this dangerous creature had grown into a 16-foot long, 220-pound snake. But by then, their bond was already unbreakable, and the boy and the snake's unusual friendships... Oh my god, 220 pounds? That big as me! From Cambodia but I weighed more than 220, but you had me. Tourists started to travel to check out the kinship between this young boy and the gigantic python. This snake even had its own 7 by 10 10 foot room, oh! a little spirit house where Sandbath's father would pray that the huge python would keep their family safe. However, it looks like this love story has a not so happy ending. When this enormous snake bit the boy, the family was forced to give up their fanged family. Duh! Sandbath was heartbroken, but reportedly told the press that he wants his next pet to be a bunny rabbit. Now Ooh, let's get ready for today's thank you. topic. This what the hell you surfaced on the web a few years ago, and we've wondered who this wolf woman is ever since. These gigantic wolves would normally run wild in the forests of Alaska, Canada, or even Russia. However, here they seem to be on a leash. I'm a German Shepherd. A mysterious girl. Could there be corners of the earth where keeping deadly wolves as a pet is a way of life? After all, we know that there are sledders in the Arctic who keep entire packs of huskies at home. Perhaps wolves make loyal companions too. So, what do you guys think? Are these giant beasts really part? Of the family? No! Conversation by using the hashtag missing topic. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So, what are you like? Cow. For? Don't let him lie to you. I wouldn't even lie to you. Let Russian breakfast with a bear. Most people would run from this ursine creature, but this Russian family welcomed a giant. No! Oh my gosh! Stepan has lived with the Pantelinko family for over 25 years. I'm on capital. After being adopted at just three months old. Oh, no, that's how it is. This is a cop. He's a real member of the family. This adorable bear even eats at the table and cuddles up on the couch to watch his favorite shows. Yeah, we know what you're thinking. It's pretty unusual to live with a gigantic brown bear, but Sweet Lana and Yuri have an extremely special bond with this wild bear. Ah. Step in as a tiny cub, orphaned in the woods near Moscow, and nursed him back to health. Must be feeding him porridge. The bear as if he were their own child. The brown bear is totally tame and has even officiated at a wedding. Come on, how awesome would it be to get married by a bear? Step in probably wouldn't have survived by himself in the wild, so it seems as though he was pretty blessed to have been adopted by his human parents. What do you guys think? Should wild animals stay? Aww, I ain't gonna lie, you kinda cute. Coaching. I want a panda though. We can't think of a creature that would make much more of an unlikely- Oh my gosh! 
Krak lived like one of the family in Bogor, West Java, for more than 21 years. Erwan and his wife even described Kojak as one of their grandchildren, even though he's nine feet tall and 900 kilograms. While owning exotic how much that, how much fun is that? parents in Indonesia, keeping a gigantic croc as a pet certainly is unusual. This is one brave couple. They adopted the dangerous reptile when it was just a tiny baby, measuring a measly 10 centimeters. However, this cute critter eventually grew up. They fed their pet crocodile a whopping two kilograms of fish every day. And, and their human grandchildren even brushed the reptile's teeth with no fear for their safety. Looks like Kojak really was domesticated. However, after viral vids of Kojak started to circulate online, officials from the Natural Resources Conservation Agency came to remove Kojak from Irwan and his family's home. Oh. Much to their heartbreak, crocs are a protected animal under Indonesian law, and he was taken to Taman Safari Conservation Park. Vets put Kojak on a strict diet due to all the treats he had been eating at home. This sad separation was ultimately oh. for the best. Kojak got hey, off the more wall. suited for a crack. Wait a moment. Lion cubs for the grandkids. These unbelievable pets had a rough start in life when Palestinian refugee Saad al-Jamal saw these two-month-old lion cubs at Rafah Zoo. He fell in love with the captive cats. The zoo had been damaged by airstrikes, and so Saad decided to adopt these majestic creatures and take them home to the al Shabora refugee camp in the southern Gaza Strip. These big cats soon became a part of the family. And they named the female cub Mona and the male one Alex. His six grandchildren loved hey. playing with the cubs and they would run around the apartment and play fight out in the streets. However, cute little cubs don't stay cute little cubs forever. No, no. Before long, these small lions were starting to grow up and become more and more fearsome. Pretty soon, they were becoming a burden, and keeping up with their huge appetites for meat was proving to be expensive. The animal welfare group, Four Paws, intervened when Alex and Mona were being kept confined inside and took responsibility for the big cats. Baby lions don't make the best pets after all. Hmm, looks like it's just the circle of life. <laughs> Hyena man. Hyenas are known oh. for being vicious, ruthless scavengers who will kill hey. humans in a heartbeat. In fact, most communities in Africa will... Hey, my teacher used to tell me so I used to laugh like a hyena. You're over there sitting on skinny your teeth like a hyena. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love you. Hyenas laugh. They laugh like that for real. They just laugh. <laughs> Hey, you don't remind me of the Lion King. Them hyenas like those on crack, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's in my head. Contact with these wild animals at all costs. However, in some countries, people have learned to live alongside the cackling hyenas, even feeding and petting them. In horror Ethiopia, humans and hyenas have lived peacefully for 200 years. After a rocky history, centuries ago, hyenas used to attack townspeople until they came up with a smart solution. They carved holes in the city walls and threw scraps of meat out to keep the beasts at bay. Since then, people like Abaz Yusuf have used this technique to feed and train the ferocious hyenas and even attract crowds of tourists. He's even known as the Hyena Man, and he inherited the unusual skill from his father, who also managed to tame these wild beasts in Abaju, Nigeria's capital. There are groups of nomadic people who learn to train the feared hyena as children. They handle the wild dog with no fear, partly due to their unique relationship with hyenas. They are my friends. They are your friends. Mysterious medicine that the so-called hyena men drink for courage and strength. Fish are friends, not food. the deadly animals to sit and actually hugging the hyenas. You can't believe that these dangerous and Wow. Fish are friends, not food. You stay there. Some damn things attack you. We be kept as pets. <laughs> Mezzi, the mountain lion. Anyone who lives with a cat will know exactly how fierce and independent these strong minded felines can be. Now, house cats are one thing, but a mountain lion in your apartment is a whole nother story. Thank Mariah you. And Alexander Dimitri adopted their puma after spotting him at Tarox Zoo in Penza at just eight months old. They fell in love with the furry cub and managed to convince zookeepers to let them take him home. Shockingly, they agreed, and this brave Russian couple fell in love. I with knew it was Russian! I just knew it! I 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 knew it! Only Russian got that much balls to do that. Like when I was sitting on here, right? I said to myself, 
which freaking race, right? Which not race, nationality would take a freaking lion mountain? Oh, is, it, is it lion mountain? Wait, mountain lion, lion mountain, whatever, mountain lion, right? And, and take it home. I said there's only one race I can think of that balls heavy enough to do that. I said Russian. I said, but I ain't gonna say it out loud, just in case. As soon as I said a Russian couple, I knew it. I'm not surprised. I knew it. Fully grown the dog and the Russians are the only people with balls enough to do it. With his new human owners, they even converted their hallway into a lion's den, complete with a tree, hidey holes, <laughs> and walls made of bamboo. It seems like Messi is living his best life. Mariah and Alexander. They put clothes on the team. For walks, feed him a diet of raw meat. He take him for training sessions four times a week. He even has his very own Instagram account, along with 1.4 million followers who tune in to see this wild cat's antics. However, it seems that Mezzi isn't totally accepted by everyone in the family yet. Their other cat, a sphinx, hisses and bats Messi away with his paws if he comes too close. That's one courageous kitty. How big is the cat? The next one. Doc Anno's Tiger Collection. Bhagavan may have found international fame on the hit Netflix show Tiger King, but he's been a well-known animal trainer for decades. You may know him best as Doc Anno, the founder of the Institute for Greatly Endangered and Rare Species, a 50-acre wildlife preserve in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Doc has trained over 400 That's big cats and handles many exotic animals and raised his first ever tiger cub in 1982. Since then, he's made a name for himself in the animal handling world and has even worked on films such as Dr. Doolittle and Ace Ventura's Pet Detective. He wow. famously joined Britney Spears on stage during the MTV VMAs in 2001, where he wrangled his pet tiger as Spears danced with one of his pythons. More recently, Doc was featured in a sensational Tiger King docuseries, which made a string of wild claims about his murder in well, life preserve. However, the Doc called the show a quasi-fictional drama more focused on shock value and titillation than fact. Anna, who was brought up on a cattle ranch, is now passing on his love of exotic pets to his son, Cody, who's been nicknamed the real-life Tarzan. If the tiger, we can save the world. If we let the tiger go, we're losing a piece of ourselves forever. <laughs> Aren't tiger, tigers a dangerous species? Rare serval cat. This couple would never be happy with your average tabby cat. They've become the first people in the UK to own a rare and exotic serval cat, and they even needed a special license to keep this ferocious cat. The wild cat has to stay contained within a secure garden with a high fence, and the doors and windows of the house have to remain closed at all times in case he tries to escape. The Manchester couple feed their big cat about 20 British pounds worth of chicks, mice, and even rabbits every week, and it's currently about three feet long with room to grow. You can see he's got really long legs. The exotic pet owners named this African wild cat Anubis, and he's most certainly not their first dangerous pet. They also have a QVA dwarf caiman, which is a small breed of crocodile. This isn't your typical British house. In fact, it's more like a zoo. Their children, aged 4 and 10, aren't phased at all by their dangerous pets, and Anubis even sleeps in his owner's bed at night. Wow. Rex the water monitor. This definitely isn't your average pet. What is that? Animal experts claim that the water monitor is actually impossible to domesticate due to the fact that they're so aggressive and dangerous. The water monitor has been known to crush bones in humans and it's also highly venomous. A bite from one of these giant lizards can result in excessive bleeding and swelling, and they can grow to over seven feet in length. However, these freaky facts didn't put off the owner of Rex the water monitor. She adopted Rex when he was just two months old, and named him Rex because he looks so much like a terrifying Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hey, isn't that the same lizard from, hey Jesse? Two to three months? This long lizard was raised with dogs and dines on an unusual diet of rabbits and squirrels. This huge beast weighs 50 pounds. While Rex may look pretty harmless, monitor lizards are a growing trend in the United States with more and more people keeping them as pets. Rex even dresses up as a dragon for Halloween. <laughs> Would you ever adopt one of these no. terrifying reptiles? Uh -uh. I go make skin it to me. And his dynasty, Meet Hulk. What? The pit bull in the world. Yes, and I seen him. Not in person, but 174 pounds. His proud owners, Marlon oh, and shit. Lisa Brennan, are the founders of Dark Dynasty Canines. And Bitch, come here. And they train their dogs specifically for protection services. When Hulk fathered eight pit bull puppies, 
Each one of them were expected to fetch a whopping $55,000. That's one Easy. expensive guard pup. Yeah, Hulk has some seriously strong genes, and his fantastic qualities are highly coveted. This pit bull papa and his pups live together as a pack without fences or barriers. And they're so well behaved that they can interact with young children. This gentle, well-balanced family is a stark contrast to how the rest of the world often views this misunderstood breed. The pit bull has been bred to fight and attack, and has even been known to maw humans. One study even claimed that while pit bulls make up 6% of the dog population, they're actually responsible for 68% of dog attacks. And this dog's on the planet right now. It's about 180 pounds. Makes him one of the largest pit bulls in the world. The dude's spitting on himself. What do you guys think of the Hulk? Is he the perfect ambassador for the pit bull breed? Yeah, man. I feel like pit bulls are like pretty the cool. The Lion Whisperer. Kevin Richardson was nicknamed the Lion Whisperer by a British newspaper back in 2007, and the name seems to have stuck. This big cat lover runs his very own wildlife sanctuary near Johannesburg, South Africa, and a viral video of Kevin playing with his lions has been viewed more than 25 million times on YouTube. Yeah, Richardson is a very unique individual and has loved lions ever since he first worked at Lion Park in 1998. One day he bonded with two seven-month-old cubs named Tao and Napoleon and visited them every day for the next eight months, forming a lifelong connection that would change the rest of his life. The lions adored Richardson and his confidence to roar and interact with them. Today, he's devoted his entire career to opposing the trophy. This is guy on lions. TikTok. Realizing that it's not about biting Kevin's handles. Uh, she could have a good gnaw on it. If she bites him too hard, she'll get a little bit of a, a warning on her nose. He has a strict no Damn. policy at his wildlife sanctuary. Just look at the way these lions worship Richardson. No wonder they call him the Lion Whisperer. Damn. Yeah, this guy on TikTok, he's the end that. Goes eight. One of the most famous cases of exotic pets gone wild is the tale of Travis the Chimp. This household pet was raised in Connecticut by Sandra Harold, who adopted the wild animal when he was just a tiny chimpanzee. The two did everything together. Travis was like any other child. However, as he reached adulthood, problems started to arise. This fully grown chimpanzee. Hey man. I wonder if it killed her. I feel like it killed her. I don't know why. He was insanely strong and super powerful. And over the years, it seemed as though Travis was starting to question his place in the human world he had been raised in. Disaster struck when the chimp lashed out one day, committing a horrific attack that left Sandra's friends scarred for life. This totally unexpected travity took the world by surprise and served as a visceral warning as to how dangerous pet chimpanzees really are. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jessica the Hippo. Jessica spends her days hey, in the river of Hood hey, that's um, and sleeps in her owner's house. Oh my night. gosh. So, Jessica is no the name of the hippo of Madagascar. This gentle giant is one of the only hippos in the world. The hippopotamus is one of the most dangerous creatures in Africa, and it's estimated that they kill around 500 people every year. And they're really? super territorial. However, Jessica has been raised by her owners, Tony and Shirley Jubert, as if she was one of the family. Her calm and graceful nature makes I didn't know that was that dangerous. Hippos on Earth, and tourists are even invited to join Jessica and a family for feeding time. For a small fee, Tony has a background as a park ranger and took in the hippo when her mother was found lying at the border of Kruger Park. Ever since then, this 2,200-pound hippo Damn! is living a charmed life and her human what? is picturesque home. This woman talking to hippos. The thousands of tourist faces. <laughs> Tyson's Tiger Tyrants. World famous boxing champion Mike Tyson may be known for He his saw the tiger. I remember you saying know that he was once notorious for his wild pets. Yeah, Tyson placed an order for his pet tigers while he was still in prison. And the heavyweight champion even kept them in his home for over a decade. Now, that's one house that you definitely wouldn't dare to trespass that. into. Don't break in that. However, that is allegedly what happened when a woman on Mike Tyson's property was involved in a tragic accident with one of his beloved white tigers. Tyson claimed that he paid out a cool $250,000 as compensation to this uninvited guest whose hand was severely mauled by the big cat. Since that incident, the boxer has come to realize that these rare and exotic predators cannot be I remember him talking about on this podcast. He donated the animals to a sanctuary after 14 years in his care. Nowadays, Mike Tyson has found a forever friend in his beloved poodle. Well, that sounds like a much more sensible pet, don't you think? 
buffalo. Now we've seen all kinds of what? Pets before, Come on we've now. We've seen a pet buffalo. Jim Sautner is famous in his small town of Spruce Grove in Alberta, Canada, for bringing his fluffy friend with him wherever he goes. Cut shit up, fluffy friend. friend. Who goes by the name of Bailey Jr. Even joins Jim at the bar for a cold beer. This hefty 800-pound buffalo is six feet tall and eight feet in length. But Sautner swears that he doesn't have an aggressive bone in his body. And see such a huge, powerful, unpredictable animal because so gingerly in color. Jim and his wife Linda have bottle fed Baby Jr. ever since he was a baby, and the oversized buffalo was treated as though this could get a buffalo on the wall. He even had his 987 Pontiac Bonneville converted so that his big buffalo could join him on his road trips. We don't know about you, but this buffalo kind of looks like an awesome pet. What a wild bunch. Maybe we'll stick to our cats and dogs. So which one of these dangerous animals could you see yourself owning as a pet? Pitbull. Pitbull. Pit bull. That's it. Below. And I want Hulk. I like Hulk. Hulk. Hulk looks like a cool dog, man. I want I to want, I want sit right up there. Sit right up there. <laughs> Just go crazy if anybody pissed him off. But yeah, man. I, all this, all, all that video did for me is made me realize how crazy people are around this world. You have a fucking buffalo in your house, bro. You have a chimpanzee. You have a fucking hippo. You have a lion. You have bob. You have hyenas. It's a pet, bro. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video, man. If you guys are new to the channel, man, smash, smash the like button. I don't know what to say. That's all I gotta say. But yeah, man, if you guys want to see more reaction videos, let me know down in the comment section. Smash, like, subscribe, all that good stuff again. And until we meet again, just remember that we have to be blessed. Remember, the world is yours. Peace.